There are a lot of things the paint bucket effect in Premiere Pro can do. Things that you might know or might not know of. Do you know that with the paint bucket effect, you can actually make certain shapes right inside of Premiere Pro? Or with the paint bucket effect, you can actually draw the outline of anybody, like in a shape or a white line. I'm going to show you how you use the paint bucket effect in, the, in Premiere Pro to do great things just like this. So let's dive right in with the video. Hello guys, my name is DK Wisdom. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to grow your video editing business, make videos and edit them right inside of Premiere Pro or After Effects, smash the subscribe button below this video so you can actually get notified anytime I drop a new video just like this one. So today we'll be talking about paint bucket and how you can use this effect in any of your videos. The paint bucket effect is one of my greatest and even the best effect I normally look up to when editing in Premiere Pro. I know most of you might have not heard about the paint bucket effect in Premiere Pro, but I'm going to show you how to use it easy peasy. So right here we have a video of a woman that I downloaded from Pixabay, one of the free stock footage sites. You can find that on my blog, the link is in the description. So I found this green screen picture of this woman right here. So now first of all, we're, the first thing we're simply going to do is that we're going to take out the grid right here and already if you do edit in Premiere Pro, you should know this by now. So go into the effects panel, we're going to simply look for the ultra key effect. So look for the ultra key and drag that to the clip. Easy. Go to the effect controls and click on the selector button and click on the grid. And that's a good, a good selection actually. So once you have that, then there's nothing else. So now the next thing you want to simply do is that you want to look for the paint bucket effect. So look for the paint bucket. So look for the paint bucket. You're going to see it under the generates right here. Simply drag that and drop it on the clip and you can see it's going to create some rough painting right around the women and that's what you don't want so you're going to simply go to the fill selector under the paint bucket effect in the effect controls click that and say transparency and it's going to show off the entire thing now you're going to go for the strokes click that and say stroke actually and you're going to see some red stroke and here you can actually increase the stroke width or reduce it if you like so for this i'm going to go for something with a white strokes so i'm going to click on the color right here I'm gonna select the white stroke and click on OK. Now for the blending mode, you can simply leave it this way and you can also click on view threshold and it's gonna show you something like this. This is one of the effects used in the music video hotline blink. If you've watched the music video by Drake, in some places you see women dancing in a black shadow just like this, and that's how they made it. There's no two way about that. I don't know if they made it in Premiere Pro, but this is how. You can do yours in Premiere Pro. So that's not what we're looking for. We're simply going to select the view threshold button right here, and next you have something like this. Now we're going to simply go to opacity and we're going to decrease the opacity. As you can see, this is what you get: the opacity of the stroke actually decreases it. But you don't want that. You are simply going to go for the opacity of the video. So I'm going to go to the opacity of the video instead. We're going to decrease the opacity, and you get something like that. So now the next thing we're simply going to do is that right here under the blending mode. We're simply going to select blending mode and we're going to say fill only and next you have something sweet this way so i'm going to simply play these guys and you guys are going to see it and know it looks lovely right so this is how you can easily do things like this right inside of premiere pro it's very easy i know you can do this so go out there and crush it also if you like this video drop a like below smash the subscribe button on this video and also don't forget to go down to the comment below and tell me if this was new to you or you might have learned it before. Thank you guys for watching and I'm going to see you on the next one. But before I go, if you don't know what this channel is made about, you can simply go down into the comment below and I'm going to post the video of my channel, the latest video on the channel right now about what Visify is for and what it stands for. So go down to the comments, click that link and go watch that video right now.